my name is Nick Wondorf and this is Alaska. I picked her up like a week ago, so, and prior to taking a dog home, I was digging a lot of YouTube videos trying to figure out how and what am I supposed to do at the beginning of our journey. And uh, I found there's a lot of training videos, amazing YouTube channels, but there's a kind of a lack of information of what you should be ready for bringing a puppy home and how to create a perfect environment uh, for you and your new friend. First of all, before bringing a puppy home, you gotta prepare your place for dog to be around. So you gotta keep everything out of her reach and as she will grow or he will grow, uh, the reach point will be higher and higher. So you're gonna make sure you'll be able to hide all the items because chewing stuff like boots and any kind of small stuff you can have around is not only destructive for your personal belongings, it, is, it may be toxic for the dog, so don't jeopardize your animal from the beginning. Buy all the stuff before you bring the dog home. Because as soon as your puppy here, like you don't really have time to go out and figure it out, you're gonna be very stressed and overwhelming on the beginning, so make sure you have everything ready. Make yourself a list on all the items you need to purchase, watch as much as you can YouTube videos, find the dog trainer, even if you're gonna train the dog yourself, there's a lot of helpful information in the internet, but the dog trainer can really help you to structurize all the information, um, to build exact plan, like week by week, month by month, get all the information about vaccinations and all the potential things you need to know during this beautiful journey. Make sure you have enough toys for her so you can redirect Poppy from chewing furniture or your shoes or something like that to the actual toy so she'll understand or he will understand uh, the difference between good chewing and bad chewing because she, the dog will chew everything on the beginning of the teeth are growing. Uh, that's gonna be a nightmare to keep everything around, it's gonna be destroyed. Make sure you have a food scale, uh, you have enough of cleaning supplies and pet pads, I have two types of them, I have disposable ones for the floor and have uh, washable ones to keep my mattresses safe because it's way easier to wash the mattress cover and the actual pad than like buy new like filling for the mattress or buying a new mattress. Make sure you have enough space in your apartment or the house for whatever you want to bring in because having a dog is not only having a dog, it's having a lot of dog items, it's having a crate and being able to displace all the stuff you have on the shelves and stuff like that so the dog will not reach it and buy a proper size cage. Cage training is very important, there are a bunch of videos about that. And uh, I just got a huge cage for the full-grown Alsi. It's better to have bigger cage so when your dog will live fully grown, she can, she can still use the same cage. Also, it's very important to have the proper size kennel for your dog because the first one we bought for the puppy, it was too big. And I figure I can't even have her in a collar because she's basically just falling off <laughs> from this one. And I had to run to the pet store, get a smaller one, and make sure you have a, the name tag on it and your phone number. So in case if she ran away uh, and someone will find her, there'll be a chance to get her puppy back. And I also use the air tag so I can locate wherever she will be. I don't think she's gonna run away anytime soon, but there will be a chance when she'll be like half year old or like a year old. They have this like teenage chapter in their life. That they're, they're becoming extremely dismissive and uh, doing whatever they want. So it's very useful. 
make sure you know all the emergency contacts in your neighborhood so if I hope nothing's gonna happen but if something happened you have to be prepared like immediately make a call at some place that works 24 7 and uh, make sure your dog is okay so uh, also it is very helpful to have insurance from the beginning trust me when something happens that helps a lot like speaking on camera is something entirely new for me and I'm pretty used to be behind the camera and filming people but being in front of it and speaking to like device it still kind of feels weird to me so I'm learning but it's exciting and I'm so excited to get through the vaccinations and finally be able to take her out on the small walks to the parks and someday a few months later we can find the hit all together and start exploring. All right, thank you so much for watching my awkward video. And uh, go ahead, subscribe, leave your comments if you have any questions. And see you down the road.
Alaska.